Now I can take him to many directions. First of all, I can break. If we want to break in an arm lock, it is easier, okay? Because we just stand. We use his zero inertia. He doesn't have any speed. And we give his elbow puff speed, and I break. Okay? So it's easier. Oh, my stomach is telling me no more bananas. <laughs> so it's easier to break. It is more difficult to control. Why do we need this break control differentiation? Because of a very important principle ingrained in ninjutsu. And this is called levels of violence. Why is it so important? Why? Because if he comes and pushes me, okay, or something like this, yeah. So I can do many things. First of all, I can smile and go back, which is appropriate now, yeah? He's my friend, he took me yesterday for a trip. So, so it's appropriate that I do nothing. This is even below low level of violence. Sometimes, it's just my friend, okay? So I want to do something to his, yeah, so to his, yeah. So, so this is low level of violence, okay? And, and this is also low level of violence. So we need it, because in real life, I don't want to be killing anybody that touches me, okay? It's not like the Pink Panther, you know, where Clouseau <laughs> enters. <laughs> no, I want, I want a little bit of uh, yes. And ninjutsu has it. So it's, it's so mature, it's so nice. Not many systems have it. You, you see sometimes Krav Maga, everything is, ah! Okay, I, no, here, somebody does something. I can do something gentle. Now, the problem is that Hatsumi only lives in this level. So everything he does is low violence. And he doesn't bother to explain, because he explained it years ago. And, and, and he doesn't do, so, so everybody thinks ninjutsu is all low violence. No, ninjutsu is also low violence, also very high violence. Okay, you just look at the kata, you just punch somebody, that's the end of the kata. It's not politically correct, but this is ninjutsu. <laughs> so we need these grades of violence. When I do arm locks, I also need this. So when he holds me, I can break in immediately, yeah? So this is high level of violence, okay? And we have on our website analysis of what is each technique and what level of violence it belongs to, okay? But if I want to control, control is harder, don't worry, I know it's not no. good for okay? Control is harder, okay? So how do I control the arm lock that we did before? He's strong, so if I do this, First of all, he can take back. Yeah, he can take back. He can, yeah, yeah. So I have to, I have to be faster than his step. First, I have to be faster when I apply. Second thing, I want to really frame his arm lock because look at many arm locks. I'll show. <coughs> we'll go over these arm locks today. But okay, let's talk about the uh, onikudaki. Okay, so. Yeah, so everybody can see, okay? So this is the only good So you see sometimes Takamatsu does this. I don't care. It's good, maybe. I don't know what was behind how he did. But when I do Onikudaki, it's always because I want to control. Control is harder than break. Okay, so I, I take him. He, there is no arm lock now, but he feels. I'm just holding him, okay? Of course you have to have the Kihon too. And now I'm careful because he's my friend. So we now know several things and I'll sum it up. First of all, levels of violence. There are levels of violence and it is good to know low level of violence. It is the sign of high expertise. Low level of violence is the sign of high expertise. Second, to control the arm lock in a low level of violence, I have to frame it really hard. Just like on the ground, when I do Oma Palata, okay, with Juji Gatame, he has to, the, the hand has to be closed from all sides. Okay, so this is the frame. And then I can apply the correct diagonal force. So let's repeat this. Did you see the direction I'm taking? Of course, don't worry. Of course, I should take this direction, which is good. To change the knee and take him to the knee, but no. Okay. <coughs> Again, I move fast in the crux. The crux is the most difficult part. I move fast into the enter, and then I take care of him. Why? Because I already got what I want. He knows it, I know it. So why should I injure 
my anti-terror <laughs> team member. Why? Why? I don't know. Only because I'm a sadist? No. Okay? Of course, every student must go through a phase where it hurts, his instructor hurt him, to know where the pressure points are and to be a fighter. Every student. But if it's like repeatedly many, like, what, why? I don't know. It's just my. One. Hey. Okay, now I'm going a little bit faster in the truth. So, okay. Again, controlling is harder than breaking. So be careful, watch your friends. Please try. Who will choose? Uh, they all aim to hurt. They're not sportsmen like. So you can see versions of Fosoto Giri like this breaking, breaking, okay? And uh, so we must be careful while training with Nijitsu truth. So we, we can use the Osoto Giri here. But I just want to, to show the principle, okay? Not to make him a concussion, okay, in the head. So I get here. Then I put my leg. Then I try. Then you go. To the floor. No, you are not. Ah. So, do not explain this. <coughs> Now, in order for me to do throw, almost any throw, I have to be near. Almost any throw. What throw is not like this? Sutemi waza. Okay, because I want to do Tomoenage or Yoko Tomoenage, then, then I, I don't care if I'm close. I just care how his body is. But if I want to do Kubinage, Koshinage, Haragoshi, everything, I have to be close. It's a key point in what we're going to do next. So I'm getting closer. Okay, now that we know it. Now notice that I don't use any ninjutsu tricks. Not because there I can do this, okay, and I can do this and many tricks. Because I want now to learn the clean technique. Then after I know somebody here bakes, only me. Nobody bakes. Nobody bakes here. Yeah, bakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. I bake a lot. So if you know the basic genoise, basic uh, uh, pate frise, okay, basic creme pâtissière, you know it, then you can make changes. But first, you know the basic, okay? First, you know the basic. So this is why I don't like my students at the beginning, first weeks, uh, to, to do this and this. Why? Because I want clean technique. Again. So I can do the kuzushi, but every solution I choose for the kuzushi, putting him out of balance, makes me closer to him. So we just do this. One. And again, I do the uchikomi, the entry, fast. And if I'm not sure about his ukemi, I'll throw him nice. Why? Because we're going to work here for several hours. So imagine you're... Uh, you don't fall perfectly, you fall good, but you don't fall perfectly and you bomb your head. Then after seven o'clock or nine o'clock when we finish, you have a headache. You say, oh, this Yossi Sharif <laughs> gave me a headache. No, <laughs> your partner gave you a headache. So just take it easy, okay? You can, you can then go uh, to a regular training session and do it, okay, more hard. But now just take it easy. So, Chikomi and you see, he's, he, he falls good, but not perfect. So if I would throw him really hard, what would it serve for? I don't know, nothing. And I like him, so I will not throw him too hard. But I get in hard. Get in and, okay? So we had one word, which is disarm. And we now had, add another word, and we see how it connects. But first, let's repeat the second word, the osoto gake, okay? And I want to enter. And he doesn't want me to enter, okay? You try to throw me. Push it here. Okay, so you see it in the Olympics, okay? They don't, the other guy should be near their, their. So it's the basic stuff. And it's, in wrestling, it's called sprawling. You do kind of sprawling, and you bridge on your hand. 
Okay? So I try to get in and he pushes me. Yeah, boom. That's it. But now we have ninjutsu. No, I don't mean this. Why? Look how important it is that we straighten out this high level of violence. Of course, and this is a knockout. With this, you open, boom, knockout. This is a knockout. It's just like a hook with the leg, okay? Immediately, he gets knocked out. He can get killed. Man. Such a strong kid. But I want, we are talking about Randori. Jacob didn't bring me here to teach you to kill. I'm just here to teach you Randori. If we're doing about killing, there's another seminar, okay? Today, just Randori. So in Randori, I want to use different levels of violence. If I use high levels, I just guard you, okay? Make you safe. So, get near and he pushes me. What he gave me now? This. So, again. I'm waiting a little bit to see if he's okay. When he pushes me, he gives me the hand. So now you have the principle in one exercise. There is an interplay between throws and arm locks in ninjutsu. If he makes it impossible to throw, he gives me the hand. And I can do an arm lock. If he doesn't want me to do an arm lock, he pushes. Then I have to throw really it's not professional. <laughs> okay? So I can do it through. Thank you. One? So, uh, I resist your... Okay. If you don't resist, I show. So now... We program. So we program ourselves the same way. So BJJ is a lot like this, and I really like this way of thinking. So you're on the, you're on the mattress, you work very with flow and consideration, so you say, this does not work, he does something, now what can I do to resist him? Okay, and it's all the time discussion. It's just like questions and answers. Questions and answers. Just like in the Talmud. Okay, Shakla the Talmud. So I like, I like this kind of uh, So we advance. So I asked a question, and he pushed me, okay? So I ask another question. Sometimes I succeed. Sometimes he can do one of two things. First thing, when he feels me here, he will bend the elbow. Yeah. If he leaves, this is the, the, the other thing, if he leaves completely, then I have a kubina here. So let's we'll do this one, this is easier, okay? So we do this, he push. I do this, he take the hand away. My mistake, probably. You see how I take good care of him, okay? So I know he is used to me, but this is my style. Okay, okay. 